You know summer is approaching when the Michigan City Food Truck Festival is here. This weekend at Fedler's Alley, there will be plenty of food, drinks, and smiles. Here to talk all about this free festivity coming up on Saturday and Sunday is event director Alex. Alex, good morning. It's Justin. Wonderful, Justin. Thanks for having me. It is an honor to be with you. The eighth year of the Michigan City Food Truck Festival. How has this event evolved over the years? It just gets better and better. Awesome. Season eight, we started off possibly with about eight food trucks. We've grown to over 24. Wow. So, and that vendors, uh, the patrons have grown for hundreds to the thousands. What can people expect in terms of food when they arrive at Fedler's Alley? Great question. So we have an assortment of food. We bring together some of the most, the largest variety of food trucks within the region. So you can, for our meat lovers, we have shrimp, we have uh, uh, sirloin steak, for our bread lovers, we have garlic. For our uh, vegetable lovers, we have Dr. Vegetable and uh, much more. Everybody loves fried food, I feel <laughs> like, when they go to a fair like this. What do, what do they have, like those powdered sugar funnel cakes? Well, they are there, and you have a, a, a truck called Hit or Miss who does uh, create ice cream and some of the funnel cakes as well, too. Yes, they are there. What's the process mm -hmm. for, for you to pick the vendors? Because I'm sure everybody's raising their hand. They want to come Great to this question. lavish event. Well, this year was the year where more people wanted to attend than we've ever seen. Oh, wow. So we've had to do a cutoff point. But <laughs> for the most part, it's first come, first serve. It's open to all vendors who qualify and have all the proper registration and health certificates and the lights. And this event is free, and that is fantastic for the community. Why did you make it free? Well, free is the spirit of the event. It brings out more fun. People have a great time, and we've replicated the same model in Chicago, and we saw that it just did wonderful free. And it's open for a while. We can do breakfast, lunch, and dinner here, Alex. It's open, what, <laughs> 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday coming up? Tell absolutely. us about the hours and the location. Yes, absolutely. We're open at uh, 10 a.m. each day and close at 8 p.m. So, yes, you could get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The location is Fetters Alley, which is off the beach. So if you're with your family, you can make it a beach day as well, too. We got the address pulled up on the screen right now. Why is Michigan City such a perfect area to have an event like this with right. the weather being so nice? We have Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan <laughs> adds an ambiance to the event that you just can't understand until you've experienced it. <laughs> and what made you start this event eight years ago? Because it's just grown exponentially, Alex. Great. Right. Well, we've had success. I'm the creator of the Chicago Food Truck Festival, and there, that's season 11, so it's just natural to expand over to the northwest side of town. What have you learned over the years in terms of being an entrepreneur and with technology evolving as well? Yes, great question. Technology is the key to it because that has enabled us to reach people that we could not have reached before without technology. So technology has been awesome. I found you via email, so I'm thankful <laughs> for technology. In terms of the food trucks, these, these vendors are operating in such a tight space, yet they're making extraordinary meals. Are you kind of amazed that they can do this in a car? I am, I am. But again, these are... We call them gourmet mobile chefs for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> they perfected the art of being able to operate and uh, cook into small spaces. All right, you look really fit, but I'm sure you're a big <laughs> eater as well. What would be your ideal food to eat at, at a festival? Well, I am a seafood guy, okay. and they're not my one of my favorites. Won't be at this event, but I like lobster. So uh, there's a happy lobster truck that I. I'm enjoy. sure there's a lot of <laughs> melted butter at this event. Yes, yes. It'll uh, be this of this is a lot. What about parking situation here? I, I know the kids probably aren't worried about the parking, but you know, mom and dad are. Yes, they are, and it's a great question. It is uh, through the Michigan City Park and Department, so there is a fee. I believe it's twenty dollars to park but again the atmosphere and the ambiance be well worth it now do people still need to register even though it's free online in terms of a guest count alex great question justin we do uh, recommend that they register so that we can get a, a amount of food that we need to supply the patrons but uh, no registration is not 100 percent needed but it is good and helpful for us have some of the vendors been coming back over and over again? I know you said it went from 8 to 24, but has anybody been there for eight consecutive years? We have had Brian's Concessions, who's been there for about six years. Oh, wow. And they've expanded their footprint from one of their concessions to now three. And there are quite a few as well, too. Yes. What about drinks? Any good drinks out there? Well, the drinks, we're going to leave that up to the food trucks to surprise you. Okay. <laughs> Anything else you want to leave our viewers with? This should be just such a great time. I think the weather's going to be pretty good, too. Rain or shine, but it should be good weather. I just checked. I'll leave you with this. Season 8, beach and food. It's going to be fun. Why, what made you start this event? Well, I actually love what I do. I do uh, uh, love culture, festivals, and when I grew up as a kid, we uh, had in Chicago the, uh, what they call it Jewish town, and there it was, they had, was a festival environment. 
polishes, generators, music, sound, Chicago blues. So that just in, intrigued me. So it just stuck with me. Alex, we're so lucky to have you as a member of our community. Thanks for all you do. Everybody Pleasure. should be really, really excited. Season 8, and I wish you many, many more successful years. Thank you, come. Justin. Pleasure's mine. He came all the way from Michigan City. <laughs> we really do appreciate it. The Michigan City Food Truck Festival is happening this weekend, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday at Fedler's Alley. More information is on your screen.